Apparently, March 31st, I don't know whether you all are aware of this, has been designated as a transgender day of visibility since 2009. Okay? Yes. This year, all right? This year, it happened to coincide with Easter Sunday. So cue the pearl clutching from the conservative media. <laughs> Clip. <laughs> this is a clear effort and a coordinated effort to remove God from our society and to replace God with false gods. And in this instance, it's the trans community. They clearly want us to bow at the altar of the trans community instead of bow to God. If you have a whole calendar, 365 days of the year, and the transgender community purposely chooses the day of Jesus' death or his resurrection, whatever Easter weekend, that seems like a shot, a purposeful shot. If you're going to commemorate godlessness, at least have some respect for Christians and wait to do so another day. The left already celebrates godlessness 24-7 anyway, so an internationally designated day, week, or month is frankly redundant. The fact that you're saying this to the most Catholic president we've had yeah. in years Since Kennedy. Is, <laughs> is extraordinary to me. And Republican officials like Ted Cruz to Speaker Mike Johnson also echoed these lies. Now, are they intentionally misleading Americans or are they just dumb? They're yes. misleading. They're, they're, they're first misleading. First of all, right? let, let's just talk about the hypocrisy. They're, they're saying that this is sacrilegious when they are worshiping a man who was accused of sexual assault. Well, he was found liable. Found liable, found liable. okay. Liable. Who runs around with a Bible that he's never read, who, who's having an affair with a porn star while his wife is home nursing a baby. So shut up already, all right? That's one thing. Number two, wait, number yep. two. President Biden, they we handed them this baloney that they're on with Fox and everywhere else. He handed it to them because he's a good person, that's why. Because he wants to show that he supports a group of people that is under attack in this country. Yes. And if Trump gets in, they will be even more under attack. Yes. So that's what's happening. Can, can I say something uh -huh. about this? Sure. That, that, I am so angry about this because they are misrepresenting the message of Jesus. They are misrepresenting <laughs> Catholicism, Christianity. Yeah. You know, the trans community is 1.6% of our community. And if you know anything about Jesus, uh, you know that he welcomed lepers. He welcomed yeah. prostitutes. He welcomed the least desirables among us in the society at that time. I was in church. I was in church on Easter Sunday, and our entire homily at St. Charles Borromeo here in Harlem was about Jesus and about how he got up because of us and for us and gotcha. he gave his life yeah. for us. Yeah. And so for them oh. to be so hypocritical in the name of Jesus is blasphemy. And by, and you the, way, be ashamed by the way, of oh, the, okay, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a second. All right, oh, no, you have to go I just want to say one more thing. The Ten Commandments, the first commandment, if I recall from my Catholic school upbringing, mm -hmm. is I am the Lord thy God, thou, thou shalt, shalt not have, no have false, false gods, gods before, before me. Yeah. And then this guy gets on TV and says he's like Jesus, and they buy this, well, they just... buy this. That's the first commandment, okay? Yes. Well, I echo the sentiments Liars. of everyone at this table. I'd also like to issue a PSA to warn people next year Easter falls on 420, which is the highest. <laughs> For people like myself, so they it's will a come high for you holy day. Too. It's a I, weird day. <laughs> but just, also keep in mind I don't know what that, that means. this yeah. is some advance notice, just in case they're listening. Uh, next year, Easter's on the 20, 20th. It's also Lima Bean Respect Day. How dare they? How dare it's they? It's also National <laughs> Pineapple Upside Down Day. Wow. How about Bible it, Upside Down Day? No, it's National Cheddar Fries Day. <laughs> and it's also Chinese Language Day. So you see, there are days that take up all of our days. And, they, and it's been like this forever. The mere fact that they know nothing about 
the God they profess to love is not a shock. I know nothing. No. He's it's not such a, a shock. Hypocrite. He but thinks you know Mary what? Magdalene is a 10. Well, can yeah. I just, if I may have a chance to speak at our table, I simply wanted to say it's deliberately dishonest. I yeah. tried to disconnect this weekend, so I wasn't really checking, but I had some family texting like, huh, this seems odd. It took me 30 seconds to Google and know that for 15 years, March 31st has been yeah. Trans Day of Visibility. Yeah. And by the way, Joe 15. Biden hosted the Easter egg roll. Yes, he went did. to Easter Mass yeah. and he again. put out a proclamation on Easter. It is so absurd, and they know better. And what yes. was Trump and doing that finally, day? Oh, he, he tweeted like what? He was rage tweeting at a judge. Yeah. Rage tweeting. And finally, there was Sunday. also an attack on churches that welcomed the trans community that, yeah. that day. To Sunny's point, there is nothing less in touch with the gospel than wanting to bring in as many people to hear the good news. Well, of because they forget. See, this if you Carl. don't get it, you know. And I know people give us a lot of stuff because they think that we also have no idea. I know there's a legal note. I'm going to get to it. Um, but, you know, we, we have our beliefs in, in God. We know the difference between what it yep. says and what it doesn't. And regardless of what you think of us, at least you know we read our damn Bible. <laughs> Son, you gotta every leave day, it. we read it every day. I don't do that. <laughs> Let me ahead. calm down. I have a legal note. Yeah. <laughs> Trump has pleaded not guilty and denied any criminal wrongdoing and said he never had an affair with Stormy Daniels. 